Hi everyone, so welcome back to Code with Clinton. So in this video, I'm going to recommend 10 Django project ideas I think you should build. And these projects are from beginners to advanced. So we're going to start from the beginners, intermediate and the advanced. So we're getting started right now. So for more Django tutorials, tips and tricks, please do also subscribe to this channel. So without further ado, we're going to start with the video right now. So for the number one, under the beginner section, I recommend you build a to-do application and on my channel I already have a tutorial where I taught how to build a to-do application using Django yes 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 the tutorial video a to-do application is simple is simply a crude application whereby you can perform some crude operations which is the create the retrieve the update and the delete functionality so building a to-do application is gonna really get you introduced to what Django is in the stand so I recommend you build that as a number one project for Django beginners so number two is a poll application this post application is even recommended by Django themselves on their official on their official documentation the tutorial the thoughts on the documentation is how to build a post app with Django so I recommend you try building a post application a post app simply an online voting system in the stand and for some guide on how to build a post app on my channel i have a video tutorial on how to build a post application using django here's a video tutorial on the right in the stand here's a video tutorial number three is building a blog website a blog website is simple just come in you build a blog website display the blog articles on the home page and you're going to create detailed pages for each for those blog articles you have on the home page everything is going to be done with django very very easy and fast understand and you can also take the blog forward by adding a comment section to the blog whereby users can come in read your blog and they can say something about your article so you can get some feedback from the readers understand and number four is a simple login system every website you see today always require authentication by users everybody just can come in you can put accounts and get logged into their accounts understand so how to build a login system with Django is really important because most websites you see around today always requires you create an account with them. So knowing how to build a login system is really crucial. So on my channel I also have a video tutorial on how to build a login system. You can see it just on the on the on the right hand side, you can see Django login system. You're gonna learn how to sign up user, how to log them in and how to log them out understand so that's it for the beginner section i listed out four beginners projects for you to try building number one is a to-do app number two is a post application number three is a blog website or a blog web application and number four is a login system and now for the intermediate section so the number one project i recommend is the number one project i recommend is a portfolio website number one is a portfolio website so you're going to build a portfolio website to showcase all what you've built so a single portfolio website, I recommend you build that and try hosting it on maybe a free server like eocool.com. So number two is a chat application. So you can try being a chat, a chat application, not something as complicated as WhatsApp, but a simple chat application where you can chat with someone at your points and it can get you someone at another point and it's gonna be secure. Just both of you can see what is on the chat. Understand. And number three under the intermediate section is an e-commerce website. An e-commerce website is really a fun website to build. As it's quite challenging, but you're gonna really learn a lot in the process of building an e-commerce website. So I recommend you build an e-commerce website. Add the simple, add some simple functionalities like add to cart, user checkout, and payment. So it's not gonna be, it's not that complicated. I also have a playlist on that on my channel. Build an e-commerce website with Django. So to the advanced section now for the big guys here so i recommend number one i recommend is for you to try cloning social media applications something like facebook you can be the facebook clone you can be an instagram clone you can be the twitter clone you understand so just try try this and don't you, you know you cannot add all the features of facebook that's kind of kind of impossible but coffee is so robust so you just try cloning to your own capacity but add the basic features of a social media website understand and number two under the advanced section is a school management system that is yeah i think that's gonna be a good one for the advanced 
Java developers. So try being a school management system whereby users can come in, they can students can you can have a student section, the teacher section. Just try it out, just research your money and try building a, a school management system. And the last but not the least is a library management system. Try building web I recommend you try building a website that gonna make jobs easier for librarians in the stand. Whereby they don't need to do these tasks manually, they can it simply automate the tasks. You can try building a simple library management system with Django. So look, these are the 10 Django project ideas I recommend you build in the stands. You move into the new year, so try and own your skills, try and own it super well as we gather, as we start getting ready for those jobs out there. You understand? So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. A new video series starts next week. And and a new video series is, is gonna be don't worry, you're gonna, you're gonna see it next week. And if you want more of the blog CMS website, please drop that in the comment section. If you want me to come to continue this series, I need enough feedback from you guys to, con to continue the blog CMS website. So we'll see you in the next video. Stay blessed and bye bye.